Hey, wake up. User was moved to your channel. Hey, wake up. Good, thank you, Lasagna. How are you? Doing well. And uh, we are about to start the first match of uh, Sunny Community Skirmish number 121 moment the brackets have been released the teams are about to load into lobby right now and our first matchup will be elegant elephants versus predator island mm -hmm. and we both take... veteran teams if i'm not wrong there you go and actually let's go ahead and check that yeah predator island definitely a veteran team uh let's check on elegant elephants yeah uh led by spudnik so yeah that is definitely a strong veteran uh leading that team mm-hmm and uh, for those of you who are not aware of uh, how SCS works, and hang on, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta give somebody else here a uh, quick note here about uh, not jumping in on a lobby. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, so here's how SCS works. For those of you who are tuning into your very first SCS stream, uh, for those of you who are not aware, it's a double elimination tournament. And, uh, and, oh, 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 I lost my train of thought here. It is a double elimination tournament. Uh, so if you lose one match, no problem. You can go through the road to redemption to, uh, reach the grand finals once again. Uh, it's first to five kills wins in a 2v2 format as well. Uh, there's a 20 minute timer. So, uh, make sure you get your kills in before then. There's also a potential for a three minute overtime as well. Uh, active engagement is necessary for an overtime to occur. Uh, each team is allowed one pause per round of up to two minutes. Uh, pause must be granted by the referee, and today our referee is Huskar. Uh, so he'll be taking care of that, as well as making sure teams do not uh, violate the rules. Rules are very simple. Um, once, you, uh, once you load in a... Uh, oh, goodness, 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 goodness. <laughs> This is why I say don't tell me the password in-game. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is why I tell you guys never to send me the password in-game. <laughs> ah, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I just realized so you... on stream that I put it on the stream. Wonderful. Uh, okay. Yes, um, so never send me the password the yeah, go over the rules while I go go uh, go put a public <laughs> service announcement in the CA and uh, not in the CA group in the uh, SCS group. All right. Um, so the general rules. Uh, first, let's start off the lobby timer. Um, for each match, the lobby timer is four minutes. When all four captains show up, uh, the crews can show up after the four minute timer is started. Um, the ship loadouts are usually locked. Uh, 30 seconds before uh, the game starts so around 3 minute 30 second mark is when the loadouts are locked. You cannot change any loadouts on your um, on any of your crew members or any you know pilot tools, engineer tools, uh, gunner tools or even the, the ship loadouts in general. Um, and usually at the end of four minutes the referee asks you to ready up. The match timer is 20 minutes um, and the timer is stopped for one pause per team, and each pause is at a maximum of two minutes. Um, the pauses cannot be called during an engagement. Both teams have to be out of engagement for the pauses to be called. Um, overtime, as Lasania was explaining earlier, lasts for a maximum of three minutes and is only granted if there is an ongoing engagement. Indeed, um, you pretty much covered... That's pretty much all of it uh, right uh, there. Yeah, I was just wondering uh, if I missed anything. Like 99% like of it right there. Yeah. Let's see. Did I miss anything? I don't think I've missed anything. Well... Um, if you've missed anything, then uh, we will we will get oh, to yes, that our, shortly. Our, our, our helpful viewers will very nicely point it out. Oh, I'm sure they will, and by nicely <laughs> pointed out, they'll basically yell at us for uh, for yeah. missing something incredibly that, important. That's, that's what I meant. That's yeah. 
All right, and we'll be getting started with our first match here in just a moment. I do have to put the BRB screen up for just a second here, folks. I'll get back to the moving picture shortly. All right, we'll get that started in just a second. Like I said, I got to take care of some some stuff off uh, off screen here. Have it up for for a moment here, so I'll have it back up in just a moment. Uh, do, 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 do. By the way, uh, big thanks to our other streamer here, streamer here today as well. Uh, Water It's Me is taking care of the bottom bracket, so if you want to check out any of the matches on the bottom bracket, check out twitch.tv slash Water It's Me. He's going to be taking care of the other first round matchup as well as the Road to Redemption. That should take care of everything I need to take care of off stream. Now, there you go. Pictures have been resumed. There we go. All right, we got teams starting to ready up right now. Uh, looks like uh, Red is readying up. Ready up shortly here as uh, Elegant Elephant should be on red and Predator Island should be on blue. Yeah, also one minute to lock, so... There you go. Oh, 20 seconds. Never mind. Thank you, Huskar. <laughs> there you go. And let me actually change the... Uh... Let me actually change those team colors here. Um, I'm going to have a... Uh... I'm going to have a uh, uh, quick change of uh, that overlay, uh, letting you know who's on what side uh, on the next match here. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing a potential error here, I'm, uh, but that way it'll be easier. So I'll have uh, two, two different texts on there. I'll have uh, one lower left, one lower right uh, to fix that up. In fact, I may be able to squeeze this in while we're waiting. I should probably switch over. There we go. Loadouts are locked at this point, so 30 seconds until the match begins. And we still have one more person to hop onto Sunstrom ship. Oh, yes, that could be a problem. He needs to get him in here quick. Mm hmm. There he is. Indeed. And we are about to get started here in, in Sunday Community Skirmish number 121. Match number one will be held on Canyon Ambush. Canyon Ambush is a community favorite match, uh, or community favorite map, excuse me. Uh, Canyon Ambush features lots of canyons, lots of places to ambush. Shocking, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> you hear me say that every time when it comes to Canyon Ambush. It, it, it just, it's, just, it's just fun to say every time. All right, I'll take red, you take blue. Ship number one is the Friendfish, piloted by Dementio. It is a watch of fish with a double caro side. Ship number two is the Amplifier, piloted by Spudnik. It is a Lumber Spire. Ooh, interesting choice right there. With a Flak, a Mine Launcher, and a Gatling. Take it away. Uh, ship number three is the Victor, piloted by Sunstrom. And it's basically a Banshee, Gat, no, sorry, Gatling motor on the front with a Banshee on the side with a flare. And ship number four is the Sin Machine, piloted by Mighty Keb, and it is a... Let me take this, take a look, closer look at this here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ooh, this one again! It's Ooh. gonna be interesting. Oh, hang on. A motor up on top, two Gatlings on the bottom deck, and Banshee on the right side top deck, and Flare on the top side left deck. This is a very, left, yeah. very familiar Mobula. This is the Mobula that uh, that Keb brought uh, when he broke the meta a, a few tournaments ago uh, to win uh, Team Predator's last tournament. And a good Hydro right there by Keb. Mm -hmm. Sin Machine going after the Amplifier. A great approach right there by the Amplifier. Uh, going for the uh, going for the Spire. Good hole break right there. Amplifier hole yep. broken. Great job to start it off. A good mind though. However, too and little, too late. That's a first blood first right there. Kill. 
First Blood yeah. goes to Predator Island. Mighty Cat bringing out the Sin Machine, doing work right there. Friendfish also hole broken. Friendfish trying to exit stage right. <laughs> literally. <laughs> yes, literally exit stage right. And I guess it's the advantage of Canyon Ambush is that you have some hard cover to work with, especially when your ally dies so quickly. Yes, and Friendfish, and I like what Friendfish is doing. He's heading towards the middle to allow the Spire to spawn in. A good choice right there. However, yep. uh, yes, the Spire has spawned in. Uh, Friendfish is about to get lit up here. They need to be very careful. Yep. They're down to about 40% perma. Spire's back in play. And uh, Predator Island. Predator Island is a very, very deadly team together. And there goes the Friendfish mm -hmm. 2-0 Blue. Spire's back in. However, they're going to basically sit tight and go, you know what? Nope, screw it. Nope. Not, not going to go in. Nope. Nope, nope, yep. nope. They're currently reversing right now. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're doing the nope reverse. Yep. But that's the right thing to do in this case. Do not go in against uh, against that 2v1. Especially yeah, as a Spire, don't go in 2v1 against especially that. Especially as a Lumber Spire. Yeah. Actually, they don't have a Hawacha to actually disable the Gatlings and the Mortar shooting at them. Definitely. Makes it really difficult for them to defend against such a build. Definitely. And uh, a, a very fast start uh, for Predator Island. Um, and, of course, Skyborn, a three-time defending champ of uh, mm -hmm. SCS. And uh, they're picking up right where they left off, basically curb stomping. Even that's a, even a ridership involved. Uh, if if you if you remember, uh, the friendfish is yep. a uh, ridership effectively. So uh, props to Skyborn defending their crown very strongly in this first round matchup. Mhm. Mm I mean, technically they can just sit back. But, oh, uh, oh, friendfish way up ahead. Be, yep. Yeah, and Sin Machine bypassing him, so it look. Oh, Sin Machine right he on the amplifier. The, oh, yep. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing as last time. In this case. Yeah, same thing as last time just happened, and Sin Machine, Sin Machine basically saying, you know what? We don't care about the friend fish. Victor even going, we don't care about the friend fish. You know yep. what? You don't matter. We're just going to bum rush the Spire, and, and it's working like a charm. Yep, and that goes to say a lot because friend fish is a Hawaja fish, and Hawaja fish is a pretty capable. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. They don't care about the friendfish because they are absolutely just approaching at the perfect angles. The first engagement, hydroing yep. up out of the friendfish's art, and yep. just getting a clean approach on the spire. This time, using cloud, using the clouds, basically the friendfish had no time to turn on the sin machine, uh, and just the spire deleted from the match again. The spire, a curious choice. Uh, especially a Lumber Spire, a very curious choice in this situation. Amplifier back in the equation here. I have to ask at this point, why I, uh, the Spire I, against this group? Against this, against this, against these builds? Yeah, probably not a good idea, but... Spire is one thing, Lumber Spire is one thing, but on this thing, map yeah. against this team, you have to question the choice. Yep, sometimes meta is not that bad of an idea. <laughs> <laughs> that is true, that is very true. So we're having, uh, I guess, a one-on-one -on -one here. The Sin Machine really wants us to take uh, the Spire on, but... Uh, Looks Ooh, like yes, in fact, let's go check the Sin Machine real quick. As a, Oh, now the Lumbers yeah. are finally coming into play as the Amplifier finally getting good Lumbers out. The Sin Machine has been balloon broken. And of course, on... Oh, there are some uh, disconnects here on blue. Uh, but uh, the, the, one, the one big weakness of the Mobula is once that balloon goes down, you have no mobility as a Mobula. Like, almost yeah. none. And the Sin Machine has been hull broken. Uh, he's down to about 20% perma with low balloon, low hull... This mm -hmm. could spell doom for the Sin Machine. In and, fact, he'll bounce and die right there. He yeah. should bounce and die, and there he goes. Red finally on the board, 3-1. A good job right there by the Amplifier. I think he got tired of the uh, of, of Keb rushing him and instead decided to rush him instead. Yep. But there was a massive uh, disconnect uh, on blue, and I th believe there were three disconnects. Yeah, the, uh, I definitely caught two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, most of them are back except for uh, Goros Agoras. There you go. All right, and Victor trying to get a little bit of hard cover here. Sin Machine is back in play. 
Victor backing up. Oh, this could be deadly for the amplifier. I do not like this push by the amplifier. Do not like it one bit. Sin Machine's moving around. Victor is in perfect position, position. if the amplifier yep. turns that corner. Sin Machine getting into position. This is going to be very bad if, if amplifier turns that corner. And very, very bad. Although I think he's on, he's on to the plan, yeah. apparently. He's on mm -hmm. the plan. Now, granted, they can't catch this because we are on, on a uh, minute time delay. Uh, they did not see what we saw there. Uh, so Amplifier got wise to the plan. And uh, spots going out from red to blue. As 13 minutes left in the match, I don't think we'll need that uh, timer, though. I highly doubt it. As Sin Machine moving in, he's decided now is the time. Watch of finally going out. Uh, oh, picking up three guns, including the mortar, so that's a good thing right now. Mine's going out. Yep. Good mines! Oh, look at that! Hydro by the Victor! A Tiger oh. uppercut! A perfectly executed Tiger uppercut by the Victor. 4-1. Yep. Wow. Wow! That's, that was perfectly executed. Fly. That that was like tip right on him as the as the uh, Hydro was executed. Mm -hmm. you, you couldn't have asked for better execution right there. As the Friendfish, you, you can pretty much throw your hands up at this point and say GG. That that's pretty much game. That that was style. But they're in blue spawn right now. True. True. They they are in blue spawn, and th that's three gats going out. Well, two right now, but there's a third gat that's about to come out. Uh, friendfish hole broken. Uh, the only saving grace for the uh, friendfish is that they've got mortars in play for kill guns, as opposed to uh, other other guns. So uh, they got to get close. And uh oh, oh, that's a very unfortunate hydro. That is a very unfortunate hydro. hydro. Yeah, yeah, right into the environment. It pops their balloon. Um, oh, yeah. I have to that, spawn back, but yeah, so too little, too late. Mm -hmm. Too little, too late. Now Banshee coming out from the sin machine. Yeah, that hydro is going to cost them the match as well. They they have no chance for escape now. None. They'll get picked yeah. off. They're pinned. Yeah, the, they're they're pinned in, in blue spawn. That should do it. There it goes. Mm -hmm. Red one's five one. Yeah. Or excuse me, not red. I'm sorry. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I am having issues here today. Yes, let's try that once again. Um, <laughs> blue wins let's try that one, one one more time. Predator Island wins five one. Blue five wins. One. Yes, there we yeah. go. Oh goodness. Um, very good and effective teamwork going out here. Indeed, good teamwork here by Predator Island. Predator Island will move on to our next matchup. But let's not forget um, that the... Uh... Wow, I'm also at a loss of words today, Lasani. You're not the only one. <laughs> um, the Elegant Elephants will also have their chance uh, for the finals to the road to retribution. Yes, and we have an so update we from may the other see stream. This match up again. Yeah, so uh, we do have an update from the other live stream. Uh, Flares and coin flips winning 5-0 over uh, uh, Sassy uh, Freyord. Unfortunately, uh, mm -hmm. my 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 Sass brethren have uh, <laughs> have not fared well in their first round matchup. Well, so and uh, such is and such is SCS. Yes, and uh, I guess I guess uh, now is kind of the time to. Uh, uh, well, actually, no, I'm not going to say it just yet. I, I'm not going to say it just yet. I'll, I'll wait to until towards the end uh, to uh, release some of that information, uh, but not right now. Okay. Uh, but anyway, we'll get we'll get uh, our next matchup prepped up uh, prepped up here. It will be East Sheldon Trading Company versus Predator Island. Okay, and, uh, yes, Huskar, better. Much better. That, that is, yes, at least it is not in-game. That is the only place I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just Steam messaging you, basically? Pretty much. Okay. The how to take off Lasagna. Got it. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's just that I don't want the password on stream is the problem. I mean, I'm not talking. I'm not talking in context of a password anymore. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Way past that. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it's not the same password anymore. So if you're trying to snipe the password, oh yeah. By the way, uh, nope. Okay. Let's see. Let's go ahead and. Uh, oh, I need to give you the password. Yeah, man. What's the deal? <laughs> yeah, there's your password right there. And we'll go ahead and do that. 
and let's get our next matchup set up here. I'm probably going to be quiet on the mic for just a moment as I get this uh, next one, uh, as I get the uh, overlay uh, reset for the next match. Once again, our next matchup will be East Shell Run Trading Company versus Predator Island. Mm -hmm. And let's see, East Shaolin Trading Company should be red. Yeah. Were you supposed to have an overlay, Lasagna? No, I had the overlay before, it's just... Uh... Yeah, I, I, I want see to. One right now. No, there's not. There's not one right now. Okay. Okay. Just want to check. I am just fixing this up here. Bear with me, folks. There we go. Okay, that's better. That's that's the way it was supposed to be before. And uh, Roof Sealand is asking uh, what build the Mobula was. Uh, he was running a uh, mortar top, double gap bottom with a banshee and a flare on the wings. I believe uh, interchangeably with the mortar and the light flag, it would be basically an aggressive Mobula build. Yeah, and Keb's run that before. He actually ran it uh, the last time that uh, uh, Predator Island was in SCS and, and mm -hmm. ran it to perfection in the uh, Grand Finals Match 1. Uh, it was a few tournaments ago, and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it was it was a sight to behold. And uh, it is it is no less of a sight to behold here again today. Yep. And we are getting this next matchup ready here. All teams are in lobby. Uh, we get East Sheldon Trading Company in red, Predator Island in blue, as you can actually see at the bottom of our screen here. <laughs> you can actually see that uh, instead of having to ask me who's on which side, hey, guess what? It's there. I'm adapting, finally. It's about <laughs> time, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm probably going to get a lot of shit for that. Oh, wait, I already have... <laughs> See some uh, loadout changes here. Uh, yep, yep. And uh, I tried. I actually, uh, somebody suggested to me uh, you should consider changing the uh, um, the uh, resolution of the uh, stream upload, and it was coming through in a horrible way on stream, and I did not like it, so I changed it back. Uh, it was cutting off way too much of the uh, of the screen. Mm. Did you lower the resolution? Did you increase it? No, no, no. I lowered the resolution mm -hmm. so that I could get uh, rid of the sidebars on the uh, on the uh, upload. And it just, instead of cutting off the sidebars, it just deleted half the screen. I'm like, no, no, this is not happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have the sidebars at that point, the, the black sidebars, than the uh, cutting off half the screen. That, that's not good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, one minute forty until lock. <laughs> there you go. All right. So East Shalom Trading Company was uh, playing two SCSs ago with a double squid against. Uh, yeah. Um, Skyborn, correct? <laughs> yes, they were. Hmm. Ah, uh, thank you for reminding me on that. Uh, now they're not going with double squid. They're going modular yeah, squid, squid against Pura Pura. Interesting. Uh, Keb breaking out the Pyramidian once again. One minute yep. till lock. Let's take a look here. Both of them Interesting. Look at that Mobula. Yep. They're, going, they're going Gat Double Banshee right now. 
Who do they think they are, Keb? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, those close range oh, modulus are <laughs> those close range modulus are starting to. I guess it's starting to trickle down now. Finally, uh, those close range yeah. mobs are starting to come into vogue in SCS a little bit, or at least uh, it's no longer the uh, hipster build. Now it's like, oh, well, if it works for Keb, maybe it'll work for us. You, we never know. It could happen, um, or or it could end disastrously. You never know. Mm-hmm. As uh, Roof says, uh, I'm going to fly mob again. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Lexi, good to see you again. How you doing? All right, we are about to get started here. Five seconds till lock. And in fact, they are locked at this point. All ship loadouts are locked. And doo -doo, get those closed. All right, we're about to get started here on match number two. Mm -hmm. This match will be on Water Hazard. Water Hazard is a very balanced map um, fa uh, favoring all types of different ships. In fact, there really is not a quote-unquote uh, favorite range to use or a preferred range to use on this map. You can get away yeah. with any range build very effectively on this map. And considering the fact that you have uh, some hardcover and those pesky bridges... <laughs> yes, the Bridge of Doom. Work your way around to a more aggressive playstyle. We'll, we'll talk about the Bridge of Doom in just a moment. I'll take red, you take blue. Ship number one is the Flying Flounder, piloted by Captain Scrubbeard. It is a Mobula with a Gat up top, double banshee bottom, and an Artemis and a flare on the wings. Ship number two is the Fairy Moth, piloted by Mirwin. It is a Squid with an Artemis front, Gatling side, and a mortar on the back. Take it away. Ship number three is the Victor. Uh, flown by Sunstrom. It's a Metamidian with a Gatling up on a Gatling and a motor up on top, with a Banshee and Beacon Flare Gun on the sides. And ship number four is also a Metamidian, flown by Mighty Cab, which is Gatling and motor on the top, with well Banshee and Beacon on the sides as well. So there you go. The same. Speaking of the Bridge of Doom, there is the Bridge of Doom right there. Uh, as Glass uh, Glaswegian Kiss just flew right under it. The uh, mm -hmm. the uh, Bridge of Doom, of course, is a very very sturdy bridge. It may just be made of wood, but you know what? That wood is made of titanium. Uh, you ram or ship into it, and bad things happen. So much logic. So much logic. <laughs> but hey, you know what? So so is uh, airships ramming into uh, into bridges as, uh, of course, my favorite way to kill people in this game is to take a ship, pin it up against the bottom of the bridge, and then tiger uppercut it into the bridge as the yeah. uh, uh, Flying Flounder has been hull broken, and man, look at Team Predator basically uh, just just Pouncing on that yep. hull break. 90% perma. Uh, Fairy Mod tried to take uh, Glass Weekend's Kiss's attention away from yeah, the ally, but that, that didn't was just quite a work. Nudge and nothing happened. Yeah, that didn't quite work out as planned as Fairy Moth mm -hmm. uh, basically got shoved aside. 1 0 blue. Predator Island has Fairy Moth out on an island right now. They could yep. be out on a Predator Island as. Uh, <laughs> Yes, I have to break out that pun anytime it's Predator Island. Uh, yeah. As oh, wait a minute, hold oh, that thought. As Victor, I, as Victor is getting uh, hull broken, ninety percent perma by the Fairy Moth. It, it, even if they go down, you gotta you gotta give Fairy Moth a little bit of credit here, mm -hmm. putting up a good fight right there before they go down. Uh, yep. Two O Blue, but Victor, man, they're hurting. Yep. Not bad, not bad by the Squid. Mm-hmm. Also, just to let all of your viewers know that blue has first skill advantage. Yes, they do. Even though it's obvious. <laughs> yeah, even though it's obvious. And uh, Lexi no, was yeah, asking they... about... Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Lexi was asking about... Um, um, uh, the SAS boat. Uh, the uh, SAS team is actually on the other t uh, on the other stream. Uh, Twitch.tv slash water it's me. Uh, I actually don't have their matches here. Uh, that'll be on the other stream. Uh, right now, we have, as you can see at the bottom of the screen... Uh, East Shawlon Trading Company versus Predator Island. And yes, Predator Island running double meta. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who didn't catch the last matchup, uh, uh, Keb brought out the uh, the uh, Nightmare Fuel of uh, Mobula Double Gat Mortar, and it went up against Aspire, and uh, many nightmares happened. Many, Nightmare many nightmares. Fuel. Nightmare Fuel happened. As uh, Victor moving so in on the uh, fairy, mo fairy moth here, and St. Glass Witch and Kiss also moving in. It looks like uh, they're going to go for the Flying Flounder. 
Oh, oh no! That was a switch. That's a switch. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Oh no, they were trying to prevent the uh, hydro from the ferry moth. I like the move. That's that's a that's a, that's a very very clever move right there. Uh, as flying flounder hull broken, that should be uh, that should be a, a a kill against flying flounder. Even if they don't kill it right there, they should s still pick it up. Ferry moth doing the right thing, going for the victor, trying to pick it up quickly. Flying flounder with a good hydro right there. It looks like they'll oh both blue ships picking up yep. picking up with hydro. Wow, Doctor they came Hydros. prepared. Yep. They came prepared. Great job at Predator Island. Victor over hydroing though. Uh, that might be wise, however, uh, considering Fairy Moth and uh, they go down 3-0 blue. Uh, looks like oh, Fairy Moth picks up a hull break on the Glaswegians. Yes, they do. Oh, they're at 80%. Yeah, well, they they're at 20%. 20%. 20%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had it right. You had the wrong. You had the. You had the. Uh, had the wrong, yeah. Yeah. There you go. And Fairy Moth might actually be able to pick up both kills here. They might be able to, if they want to. Ch if they decide to change for the victor, that might be their better move here. Uh, they should I'm strongly consider it. Oh uh, yeah, they have, but it's too late to switch. Oh no, no, it's not. They eat 50% perma. They really need to pick up, kill very quickly, or run. Either way. Yep, but that's weekend kiss is coming. But they're committed. The here. Yeah, they're committed. No, too late. They're gonna go down. They're gonna go down. 4-0. Yeah, they should have run at that point. Uh, they should have, if they were going to go make that move, they should have made the move faster. Uh, yeah. They delayed their, they delayed their uh, target switch Man, uh, a little bit too long. Squid things. What is happening here? Uh, well, no, Squid is doing Squid things. Squid is I not doing. Know. I mean, they're doing Squid things. They're just not doing Squid things well enough. Okay. I mean, they're trying. I mean, they're getting, they're getting permahole damage. Uh, that mortar is doing, doing a good job. It's just they're, they're, they're not, oh, yeah. they're not finishing the job. They're not doing. Uh oh. Uh oh. That squid spawning in very quickly. Yeah. They're going right for the flying flounder, though, it looks like. Uh, ooh, wait a minute. Fairymoth has a good angle. Fairymoth has a good angle on the victor. They've got the side of the victor. But they're going for a glass we can kiss here. Yeah, ooh, a beautiful a beautiful approach by the fairy moth. Uh, they got to hurry, though. They really got to hurry, fairy moth, if they want to extend the match. Uh, they're going right for the flying flounder. All those Gatlings going out. They need to get the Gatling in play. And they finally get the Gatling in play, does the uh, fairy moth. Took him, it took him a while as Flying Flounder with a good reposition. St. Glaswegian's Kiss moving for the Goomba. That mortar's got to go out quickly as the Flying Flounder has been hole broken. Oh, uh, yeah. Opportunity. Oh, wait a minute. There's the Hydro. Good Hydro by the Flying Flounder. St. Glaswegian's Kiss also uh, going to Hydro. And There's finally, Red is on the board. There you go. 4 1. St. Glaswegian's Kiss pretty much stuck in this engagement. I'm thinking yep. a YOLO I'm rush on the Flying Flounder. The dies. Yeah, I'm thinking a YOLO rush is about it. That's their only play here. Oh, bad mm -hmm. positioning by the Flounder, but they're not going to be able to take advantage of it, I don't think. Oh, no. they might be able to! Oh my goodness, they wow. do! That's oh my goodness! Mm -hmm. Predator Island picks it up. Wow, the YOLO rush actually works Please. out. I was thinking yep. they were just going to go for the ram there, but my goodness, no. by the skin of their teeth. <laughs> 5-1 yep. blue. Predator Good Island picks up the win. Work there. Definitely. Woo! That that was a uh, interesting conclusion right there. I, I really have a, I really have a feeling that the captain was camping the hull along with the main tech engineer because they weren't moving forward at all. <laughs> Which is not a bad idea. I mean, probably it works, not. It works. <laughs> probably not. Hey, whatever works, right? Yep. All right, well done by Predator Island as they move mm -hmm. on to the next matchup. We're, we're awaiting the uh, actually, let's see, do, 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 we're not awaiting oh. anybody. Uh, we get uh, our next matchup: Eshold on Trading Company versus Flarex Coin Flips to K sixteen. Flares and Coin Flips. I want to hear that story. No, you don't want to hear that story. <laughs> no, I do want to hear that story. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why not? Because it would it would it would involve having to explain something on stream, a a, a conversation with Huskar that makes that 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 just triggers me. <laughs> <laughs> what more reason is to listen to why? Oh dear, I'll explain it in just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain in just a moment, but we're gonna switch lobby, I think. Are we? Huskar, are we are we switching lobby? I, I, I like I like the uh, message that was just uh, dropped. Uh, <laughs> Predator Island wins again. <laughs> they, they, there's just there's just not any any 
any further explanation needed. Just Predator Island wins again. <laughs> Where is said message? I think I'm just lagging. No, 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 no. I'm talking about in the SCS group. Ah. Which, which, okay. by the way, um, I, I might need to get you in it. Hmm. Considering you're co-casting now, you kind of need to be in it. You kind of do. Hey, man, I just do the things you tell me to do. Show up at this time. Be be uh be wrong ninety two point five percent of the time. That's that's okay. all I ask. <laughs> Drugs casually. Yes. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you don't want to be wrong less of the time, because then we we come off as arrogant assholes. If you uh mm. if you're wrong uh more of the time, then people think we're we're idiots. We don't know what we're talking about. Ninety two point five percent is the scientifically proven sweet spot. Yep, and we talked about this two SCSs ago. Yes. SCSs, yeah. Sure, SCSs, why SCSs, sure, why not? That's what I've been using. I'm, I've been going with it. Can't be SCIs. SCI. Oh God, is that else. is that like uh, is that like uh, <laughs> CSI? Art, see, Artemi works, but but <laughs> is that like CSI? Do we have to investigate? Uh, do we have to investigate what happened uh, with uh, with uh, Keb's desire to run the uh, double gap mortar? This is this is a murder mystery. Double gap mortar. Yeah, double gap mortar mobula. Mm. That that is the uh, kill. That is the uh, most deadly weapon in the game right now, or at least uh, the last two streams. <laughs> La last two, uh, not streams. Last two matches. I I, yeah. I can English. I promise you, I can English. Oh, don't worry about it. I oops. find myself asking the same question. All oops, all I, uh, I I did a oops. What do you do? I did a oops. What do you do now? I I forgot to change red team. I did a oops. What? <laughs> you didn't see that. It's okay. What? There we go. You see this now. There you go. <laughs> you still don't see anything, man. You, don't, you didn't see anything exactly. Slept corpse hatch is staging a coup here. Oh. Here you go. You give up. <laughs> corpse hatch staging a coup. Oh, okay. It's usually how that conversation goes. <laughs> Uh, oh god! The what are you coin doing? Oh god! Oh okay. Oh god! So now I actually have to explain the coin flip thing. There you go. Oh potatoes, flipping potatoes. Potatoes. That's, that's... I have potato potatoes. blood in my veins. So does Zedion, apparently. Zetato. Zetato. That's a great name for yes. Zedion. Zetato. I've been using that for the longest time. I just Zetato. Don't know why it has been... Yeah, Zetato. Because you didn't tell me, and I can make this a thing on live stream here on Twitch.tv slash that the guy. Just, <laughs> just do it. Just. Do and it. apparently, Huskar and I have been shipped in the uh, Twitch chat. Yeah, it's it's a thing now. I guess that's your life. I believe it's Zedato or Zedato, whatever. I'm, I'm, we're declaring it Zedato. <laughs> okay, Zedato is a thing, apparently. There you go. <laughs> I've now shipped Zedion, uh, Zedion and Potato. I Zedion, Zedato. the power of Potato. Zedion times Potato. We're now we're shipping... We're now... We're, yeah. we're shipping Zedion. That's all that matters. We're shipping Zedion. By the way, where do you go? <laughs> Just left. I have to give you credit for that, though. Eh? I have to give you credit for that. Lasagna, lasagna car. Wow! Apparently, uh, shipping is now happening as uh, the uh, elephants win five zero over uh, over the uh, Sassy Freyords. So Sassy Freyords has been eliminated from SCS one twenty one, and this 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 makes my heart sink. I know we're supposed to be is, is impartial. Is this this is, right. is this is this is a um, half SAS team. It's SAS's first foray into uh, SCS, and it makes me uh, very sad that uh, that right. our one ship got uh, double five would Every single team who've started their first time on SCS usually 
like 90% of the time have these kind of like they just lose out like 5-0, 5 nil nil five. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm it's... I'm not saying I'm not saying it wasn't expected cuz like I told them up front I'm like I'm I'm looking at what y'all are taking and I'm like okay, my one goal for you guys is don't get double five would and I'm going to have to go back there now and said you had one job. One job. <laughs> one job. And you didn't do it. This all I'm this disappointed. Means that they need to practice more. That's yes, and is, we but... actually, in fairness, this team actually kind of got thrown together on Thursday. Um, not enough. And uh, <laughs> yeah, not enough. But hey, you know what? Um, I well, actually, it was kind of a half SAS team, and half of it was uh, FESC. I think next week, though, most likely, uh, it should be a full SAS ship or a full mm. SAS team. Um, Are you I guess, to... you, you know what, I, I might as well go ahead and say it now. I might not be streaming SCS 122. Oh, there you, you go. You, the world might actually see how potato I am. <laughs> because I may actually be piloting in SCS 122. Yeah, don't worry, I will make sure I stream all of your highlights. Outstanding, so basically <laughs> you're going to stream all of my deaths. Wonderful. Something like that. <laughs> And apparently now fanfics are being written of all of the ships. Wonderful. 10 out of 10. Must read. I mean, that's that's not that's like nothing new in Guns of Icarus, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> of course, uh, I will... Hashtags I will, are going out. This is going to be things. I know, yeah. right? <laughs> so, yeah. Well, you I'm, guys could bring more people to see the stream. <laughs> well, right Just now kidding. there's two... Well, right now there's two... Uh, there's uh, the two streams going on right now. So uh, once mm -hmm. once water stream ends, uh, yeah. The, yeah, we will have a huge influx of uh, of uh, viewership here. Yep. And uh, SCS viewership has actually been going up. So uh, kudos uh -huh. to everybody who's been spreading the word. Also, um, also want to point out here, uh, patch day was Monday. For those of you who are not aware, look at this beautiful number right here. This is like double what we're used to seeing. It was 400, over 400 earlier, and I'm very happy. Uh, we'll get into all the different things with the patch uh, between uh, this match, which is the winner's final, and the Road to Redemption final, because there's usually a wait uh, time involved between the two matches. Uh, we'll get into that <clears throat> Oh, excuse me, a little bit later, especially since we have a timer started, because uh, yeah. there's lots of big changes that came down on the Monday patch. Lots of big yeah. changes, and very excited to talk about them. Uh, but let's talk about uh, this lobby right now. Uh, Double Galleon. Oh, Keb bringing out Paul from Accounting, my favorite ship name. Paul from, Paul from Accounting. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm well, serious. Just, meta I'm serious. Uh, it's just like, uh, I, I can just... I just uh, oh, go, okay, hang on. You know what? I, I, I did say that earlier. Now, I'm sorry, Kev. I can't, I can't call you my favorite ship name now. Because who needs a map? I do not even notice you, Lou Horus. I do not even notice you. I avert my gaze from you. Okay. Uh, I, I avert I my gaze. Um, <laughs> so the coin flip uh, thing. Okay, I, I forgot to explain the coin flip thing. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, so, uh, so basically, Lou Horus and I were having a conversation, mm. and uh, I was telling him that, uh, uh, speaking of shipping costs, yes, Lunard understands. Um, <laughs> yes. Anyway, uh, so, so, uh, Lou Harris and I were having a conversation, uh, the other day, and I was saying, Sass is finally putting a, a team together. And, uh, he's like, oh, okay. And then just out of nowhere, he's like, then I should, then, then I should make a team, uh, make a team here, and we should name it, uh, um, uh, Flares X coin flips in your honor. I'm like, no, no, you will not. You will not well, do it. I, I totally will, and I'm gonna well, do it because he saw my team. He saw me flips, post the so. team. He saw me put the team up, uh, the team name up, uh, and everything uh, to signify that Sass was finally putting one up. And Luharis was like, okay, I'll one up you. Watch okay. this, and uh, yeah, that happened. Uh, so I, Lasagna. I am. Ref uh huh. What's Lasagna. up, Lasagna. What's up? Look at the name of the blue ship that Luharis is fighting. I, I, I hate him with a. <laughs> A furious passion. <laughs> I hate him with a furious passion. Lexi! Lexi! You betray me! You're on that ship! You betray my trust! Well, I am disappointed. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry. Of course, of course. If you're, if you're in this match, by the way, um... 
if you're in this match, uh, please, if you would, uh, for the sake of uh, for the sake of uh, no questions asked, so to speak, uh, please do me a favor and leave this uh, live stream. I I don't normally like to ask this, but please, for the sake of fairness, just it's just one of those things. I know, I know, I know, you guys aren't doing it, but just to make yeah. sure that there's absolutely no question that that's that's going on. Yeah. I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to say that. Just uh, if you would, please. It's a it's a courtesy thing. Fully agree. Also, loadouts are locked and game started. Just leaving that message for the uh, viewers here. All right, we are on Clash at Black Cliff. I'll take red, you take blues. Ship number one is the Spring Roll, piloted by Sundstrom. Short side is a Huacha and uh, Carinade. Long side is Lumber Flack. It is a Metagallion with a Hades and a Flare on the back. Ship number two is Paul from Accounting, piloted by Mighty Keb. It is a Galleon with, it looks like a same thing. Yes, same thing. Same loadout. Short side is going to be the Huacha and Carinade. Long side, uh, Lumber Flack with a Hades and a Flare. Take it away. Well, ship number three is Lasagna X Coin Flips, with piloted by Lasagna's best friend, Luharis. <laughs> with the Hades up on top, two Artemises on the side, uh, Mine Launcher and Flare Gun. And you have ship number four. That is, uh, who needs a map? Also, Mobula flown by Steam Brains, um, having a Hades up on top with light flak cannons on either sides and Banshees also on the upper decks on either side. Interesting. They don't have any disabled power. But, and uh, uh, Huskar, comes to Huskar is QQing about being uh, being my bestie, and he is now my <laughs> new bestie. <laughs> well. Things change, I guess. <laughs> yes. There you go. You're my new bestie, Huskar. Husrar. I avert I like my Husrar. gaze from from that eyesore <laughs> of I avert my gaze. <laughs> see, see this right here. I'm averting my gaze right there. There you go. I'm averting my gaze. <laughs> so, um, Huskar is happy though. Huskar has moved up to uh, to uh, top kohai. Top kohai. Top kohai. There you well, go. Get, get wrecked, Luharis. <laughs> Alright, so... Meanwhile, uh, as we, we turn our attention back to the actual match actual here... Actual game, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, the, the fun part of... Uh, the fun part of the broadcast is now over. Now let's get serious. As uh, Paul from Counting appears to be taking the lead for Red, and uh, Blue appears to be content to camp the middle of the map, Probably a wise decision here, especially Ooh, considering the spawn. To be specific, yeah, yeah, this is probably a wise decision. Except, oh, wait a minute, look at this. I like this approach from Red. Uh -huh. This is this, this is Ninja Galleon territory right here. Good amount of look at that cloud here. too. That is the most fortuitous cloud I've seen in a while in SCS. And that is an amazing approach with the Oh my well. goodness. Paul from Accounting is about to do Ninja Galleon. We need the theme song. We need we need uh we need James Bond blaring in our in our headsets right now. Look oh. at this. I am I am <laughs> just excellent. absolutely jealous of what is going on right now. This is this is disgustingly <laughs> effective. Paul from Accounting and, is yeah. just running down there going, you know what? I'm just running the numbers real quick. Uh don't don't bother me until uh yeah. don't bother yeah, there you go. As uh, spots are going, oh my goodness! Oh, this is this, this is, is, is a very well played by Pierre. This this just oh my goodness! Paul from accounting just basically. Although I wonder if they didn't even know they were there. It was so effective they they didn't even realize they were there to begin with. They just bypassed everything <laughs> to the other back to their well, own spawn. I mean, could that <laughs> they did. They're back at their own spawn. <laughs> Paul from accounting. Oh my goodness! And Spring Roll now in a two v one hole broken. Uh, <laughs> oh I my goodness. That, I think that was just a lucky... Uh, that was so lucky it was unlucky, is what happened. Yeah, I thought it was unintentional, but I guess... Uh, oh no, I think the cloud cover <laughs> The cloud cover was intentional, I think. I think the fact that they didn't have a spot out there just yeah. blew the whole thing... Uh, blew, blew up the whole plan. 
that that yeah. was the problem. The spring roll did not get spots. Otherwise, it was just the 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 perfect approach from Paul from accounting. Yeah, it, it was great quarterly reports, but uh, the yearly report still lacking. Mm-hmm. As spring roll uh, being the focus of the uh, blue side right now, uh, those lumbers going out on the uh, who needs a map, but um, they could be flax as well. Those could be flax. Uh, it's very difficult sometimes to tell the different projectiles uh, between yeah, the flak and the lumber uh, at range. Um, definitely the, the faster one would be the flak, assuming that that's greased in there. Uh, but let's actually take a look at Paul from Accounting and see that they are running, uh, let's see, Princess Tutu. Uh, just going to jump down there so we can see. Uh, Princess Tutu would be on the lumber, so that means the faster mm -hmm. one would be the, uh, the um, uh, lumberjack. So if you see those faster shots go out, like the faster, uh, the faster projectile out of those two similar-looking ones would be the uh, lumberjack, and the slower one would be the flak. Oh, excuse me. Would yep. Yeah, the slower. Well, the, the slower coming out one. Uh, you get what I'm saying. Moving on. Let's uh, focus back to the yeah. Game, right? Anyway, well, we are focusing on the match. I just wanted to point out uh, which projectile is yeah. which. As also, the uh, Sonia Conflicts uh, has gone red. Taking yes. Off Perma. Yes, he did, and he was bloom broken as well. Yes. So they're actually Still camping the balloon. Yeah, they are uh, once again balloon broken. As uh, yeah, it looks like they're, they're going to try to focus the balloons. Yes, which is a good choice. Focusing those balloons is a good choice. And uh, coin flips once again. Yo, uh, oh, GG coin flips. GG coin flips. Yep. That's all I'm going to say about that. Just one zero in red. favor of red. GG lasagna. <laughs> no re. <laughs> Predator <laughs> Island to, uh, out to a one zero lead. But I am glad to see Luharis back in uh, SCS. You know, all all joking yes. and fun aside, I am glad to see him back in SCS. And uh, he's got that uh, half zealot, half alto team, and uh, mm -hmm. it is very nice to see him back in. And and uh, Luharis is definitely uh, approaching veteran status, and he's he's been on a, a few uh, kind of bad luck teams, a few teams that have shown potential, and just never really quite took that next step. Uh, most notably yeah. with Magic Middleman and. Uh, He's definitely a pilot, uh, uh, definitely a good pilot. His problem, has, uh, as he's told me before, is that um, he's struggling to find that right team uh, so that he can play more aggressively because he wants to desperately play aggressively. As he goes down right there, 2-0 uh, in favor of Predator Island. He's really wanted that uh, to go with more aggressive type of approach to uh, SCS. Uh, not overly aggressive, not quite at the Magic Metal Man level, uh, but definitely more aggressive so that he can uh, run his squid and uh, uh, much more effectively, at least in his own words. And um, mm -hmm. I think he's still working on that. Like right now, let's take a look at his ship, lo uh, yeah. his uh, team here. I would dare say that right now this is a getting back into SCS uh, type of uh, um, uh, roster right now. Yeah. No offense to anybody who's on board, but it is good to see new blood here in SCS. It's it's always a learning process, just like this game. And apparently uh, Huskar has a note from his grandfather, or no, not grandfather, girlfriend. Wow, I am Englishing <laughs> very well. Uh, although his girlfriend could be his grandfather, I don't know. <laughs> let me just let me just uh, stick to calling the match here today. <laughs> oh God, I am just yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. <laughs> oh God, I'm just I'm just going to just I I can English I swear. <laughs> and this is not even about English. It's like, can you read? I, I can't. I, apparently not right now. <laughs> oh goodness! All right, so 15 minutes left on the match. Yes. Also, first kill for Red. Yes, Huskar, you have one job, man. One job. Oh god, that's probably gonna go on the quote board. <laughs> oh, it probably is. <laughs> oh, I'm just expecting it's it. It's guaranteed. Yeah, I just, I just, just, it's, it's going there. Oh god, I, I, I am just too quotable these days, and I am not, sh I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I have regrets or not. I'm sure I do, but anyway, let's get back to the matches. Uh, Paul Since from Sonia accounting. Sounds like you're having a celebrity issue. Oh, I, no, I'm having a I'm having How a lack of health issue is what I'm having. <laughs> Just still, and and it's affecting at, at at this point. It's starting to affect my ability to uh, call certain things, and uh, I should probably consider. <laughs> I should probably consider. Uh, 
You know what? This is this. Is, see, this is why I'm gonna pilot. Then, then if bad things happen, you can all laugh about it. Oh wait. <laughs> uh, mate. Mate, you what, mate? <laughs> oh, by the way, Steam is taking a good amount of cover here, since he doesn't have Artemis Artemis to worry about. He can still shoot upwards. Not a bad tactic. Okay. Sorry, I switched gears really suddenly. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, and uh, looks like Paul from Accounting is moving up here. Paul from yep. Oh, wait a minute. Look at uh, who needs a map going close range with that Hades. Mm -hmm. um, might be a little bit inside. No, he's actually outside with the uh, uh, with the uh, grease rounds. He's outside of arming time. Barely. Now he's inside arming time. A little bit inside, but he's got banshees that he can use. But he's also being focused by the spring roll. That he is. If uh, coin flips there can take this opportunity and really... Uh... Well, they are actually, just a little slowly. And uh, who needs a map? Hall broken, Paul from Accounting Hall broken. Uh, Paul from mm -hmm. Accounting Hall so almost balloon broken as well. Who needs a map has been balloon broken. Here we go, here comes the action as Paul from Accounting Hall broken once again. Hades going out. Those Hades missing from the who needs a map though. Uh, oh. Bad luck, especially with that balloon break. Uh, yeah. Very bad luck right there. Uh, the uh, Lasagna X coin flips, however, looking to finish off the Paul from Accounting. Uh, they need to do so quickly. That hall break is imminent. They really need to get that hole break, otherwise it's going to be very oh, ugly for Who Needs a Map. A oh, who needs a map? Who needs a map? Oh, oh, good engineering work. Good engineering work. That might actually pick up the Paul from accounting. Oh. They go down, however, they may have helped the uh, Lasonya X coin flip pick it up. There's the hole break mm -hmm. right there. Good hole break. Uh, Watcher coming out. Oh, a ship saving Watcher right Watcher. there yep. on the Lasonya X coin flips. A ship saving Watcher saving right Watcher. there. Mm -hmm. Yes, great job by the gunner and great job of the engineer saving it for Paul from accounting. However, they might still go down here. They do go down. Blue finally on the board, 3-1. Meanwhile, the coin flips, hull and balloon broken right now. I would yep. definitely say advantage spring roll in this situation, especially with the flax coming out. Yeah, here come the flax. Who needs uh, a map may need to reconsider engaging spring roll right now. Uh, he is, he is, he's uh, engaging from range. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is, this is actually a good engagement from who needs a map. And uh, update from the other live stream, Elephants, w a winner 5-2. Uh, so they are moving on in this tournament. And let's see, just update you guys on the other side of it. Yep. Uh, Elegant Elephants, five, two winners over East Shalon Training Company. I want to remind you of uh, two SCS ago when I was skull casting with you, and we had uh, two um, two galleons by uh, SCS clan playing, clan clan and SCS, uh, and how uh, Skyborn took their opportunity on, you know, splitting their. Uh, by, by actually, you know, taking two different approaches coming in, so they're spreading the fire across the two, so you can't really focus on one while the other picks you off. That might be a very interesting thing pulled off in this map if they are able to do it, because they both have mobulars and they both may have the capability of doing so. Just not seeing it, I guess. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm more than happy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of keeping my attention on a couple different things right now, so bear with me. Alright. Um... But yes, the uh, Lasonia X coin flips has, uh, it looks like they're going to be the focus right now as they are balloon broken. And uh, both galleons definitely, oh, whoa, that was a wild shot right there. Yeah. Uh, right into our camera, in fact, as the uh, coin flips, oh, very unfortunate backing up into environment as well, breaking the hull. However, they are able to get a little bit of cover here. Uh, oh, no, not quite enough cover just yet. Uh, but they do pick it up, not much permahull damage, so all things considered, not the worst engagement. They yep. really do need to consider changing uh, their uh, approach here, especially since they're getting lit up where they're at right now. They need to consider maybe moving in closer. Yeah, who needs a map taking some heavy damage right now because they're grounded on environment? Yeah, they're they're losing this long range engagement to the galleons. They're just losing yep. it badly. Yeah, who needs a map doesn't have Artemis, so they can't really disable their ship, uh, their uh, their weapons, their heavy weapons. But uh, they do have the killing power. They just need to get close enough. That's game. And that is game right there. Predator Island wins 
and that means that Predator Island will be moving on to the Grand Finals. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. Flair's x Coin Flips 2K16 is moving on in the Road to Redemption. Uh, they will face Elegant Elephants in the Road to Redemption Finals. Yep. Some really fast games here from... Um... Wow. Oh, definitely. A blank. Yeah, from yeah. Predator Island, some really fast games here. Definitely, and they are looking like they're they're set to repeat once again, specifically mm -hmm. the uh, Skyborn side of it. Yeah. As we prep the next lobby, folks. I have some technical issues on my part, so I'm just going to reset the game. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Jump on in when you're ready. And for those of you just tuning in from the Road to Redemption live stream, thank you so much for tuning in to Lasagna's Lounge here on Twitch.tv slash that lasagna guy. Thank you so much for tuning in as we are preparing the Road to Redemption finals here. Uh, this will be, uh, let's see here, it will be uh, Flair's X Coin Flips 2K16 versus Elegant Elephants. And for those of you joining in on the live uh, from uh, Water It's Me's live stream, thank you so much to Water It's Me for uh, streaming the lower bracket here. Uh, Elegant Elephants uh, just picked up a 5-2 win over East Sheldon Trading Company uh, to move on to this match. And for those of you just tuning in, uh, the winner of this match will be facing Predator Island. Predator Island, um, throughout this tournament, uh, has gone 5-1 again and again and again. Every match has been a 5-1 for them in the road to the uh, Grand Finals. Mm -hmm. And this, I, I would not be surprised if, uh, I mean, just looking at the teams right now, I, I I hate to say it. This is kind of mm -hmm. one of those tournaments where where we may get exactly what we're expecting. And you called it earlier. Uh, you said that we may not. It may not surprise you if Elegant Elephants ends up in the grand finals uh, yep. once again uh, to to face Predator Island once again. I wouldn't be shocked if that happened either. Yep. I would not be shocked at all. In fact, that would be the most likely scenario here. Um, but yeah, surprises have been known to happen. This is Parrot and Rumble, too, so you never know. Mm hmm I got a quick question for you. Mm-hmm. On the brackets? What about the brackets? Players and contracts. Um, oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, you have to mouse over it, is what you have no, to do. No, I'm, I'm mousing over it. It's just that I'm looking at it funny. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I guess the lobby timer started. Uh, should be. Yeah. And let's see here. 
Once again, Flares X coin flip should be in red and Elegant Elephants in blue. We have a blender in from Dementia here so far. I like the call. Really... Love yeah. the call. Especially against Double Mobula. If they're going Double Mobula, yeah, love it. Mm -hmm. And of course, that Metagallion and, and in the, play as and well. And Minotaur. Is, this is going to be... Uh... <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah. Man. Cringe, cringe-worthy game. Mmm. <laughs> And Spud is basically asking me, I thought you were flying this week. No, that's that's next week. That's next week. At least maybe next week. Uh, but I'm going to keep match chat uh, clear here because referee will need that clear. I'll just go ahead and throw him a whisper. As we have a uh, less than a minute until ships are locked. Uh Changes here on the ships. Yes, changes going out. Looks like uh, they've decided that the Mobula is probably not the best idea against um, a Blenderfish. Now they're going Watch a Fish. Yep. And uh, oh, now a Blenderfish pops up on uh, on the red side. And an Artemis Gat. Don't see Artemis Gat too often, although very effective. Uh, would be more effective against, say, a Galleon. Mm-hmm. And it gives them enough flexibility to take on the Goldfish as well. Yep. A little concerning, though, for Red. Not much in terms of hull strip. They only have one Gatling. The Goldfish has no... Uh, is full Caro. I don't know if I like the full Caro off of uh, what Steam Brains is doing. I don't know. I, I, I kind of feel like, even though it's a uh, Blenderfish, just just having the one Gat, just it, that kind of... I don't know. It's kind of concerning. It's concerning, especially against it in SCS. Now, if it was a pub, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, but in SCS, in the Road to Redemption finals, ooh, especially against the Galleon, I mean, you better get a good approach angle on the Galleon, uh, especially from mm -hmm. the uh, uh, with the Goldfish. Otherwise, that's going to be very, very, very interesting. Very uh, painful. Very painful as well, yeah. yeah. Huskar spamming Matt chat. Please refrain from spamming Matt chat. Yeah. This is why I didn't want to respond in Matt chat. I, you know, we, we want to keep uh, we want to keep that clear, of course, as uh, the next match is in Periton Rumble. Periton Rumble, of course, is a community favorite. I'm going to say something later about Periton Rumble as well be, uh, in regards to the patch we talked about earlier. I'll take red. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, a pause has been requested uh, to start the matchup, uh, apparently for a sub to pop in. Uh, I'll take red, you take blue. Ship number one is the coin flip par party, piloted by Luharis. It is a, uh, it is the uh, Artemis Gat Pyramidian with double flare on the side. Ship number two is the, uh, is the uh, Ruro. Ruro. Piloted... Ruro. Ru -ro. Yes, there we go. <laughs> Ruro. Piloted by Steam Brains. It is a Blenderfish with double caros on the sides. Take it away. Uh, blue team first, well, third ship here, would be a uh, friend fish piloted by Dementio. It is a Hawacha fish with uh, carinade, dual carinades on the side. And ship number four is Gizmoduck with Spudnik. It's a galleon with uh, Lumber, Minotaur, and Hades on the left side, Hawacha and Caro on the right side, and a flare in the back. There you go. As uh, looks like uh, Dementio got a little too uh, hyper there. Mm. Uh, he has to go all the way back to spawn, which he's doing right now, so uh, no harm, no foul. And he's back in his spawn point, so it's all good. No worries. A pause was called because a sub was needed for red, and they called it right at the start of the match. Uh, in fact, they alerted the referee in the lobby that uh, mm -hmm. they would need a pause once the match started. Uh, so advance notice was given, so a, a, a properly uh, coordinated uh, sub there. And of course, each team is is allowed to have one 
um, one pause per match. And uh, let's see. Okay, so the sub that was needed was going to be for uh, the red goldfish. Yeah, captain. Yeah, the red captain. So uh, uh, we did catch him on stream, I believe, when uh, before he left. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to go back. We'll have to go back and check. Uh, in fact, we did. Yes, we did catch it on stream. Yeah, I did see. The yeah, we did see the call. loadout. Yeah, so mm -hmm. in case there's any concerns, we can always check back later. Fifteen seconds left on the pause. Unfortunately, because of the way that um, that it, uh, the uh, uh, leaving system works, uh, it takes about like 90 seconds uh, for a pilot uh, spot to open up. If I remember correctly, it is 90 seconds. It's somewhere around 90. Yeah. Uh, and for Steve anyone is... else, it's like uh, three minutes. Now he's effectively uh, removed from the match. Yeah. Kid Flash is taken over. Yes, now uh, he's in. Mm-hmm. So there huh. can still be a gentlemanly pause, though. A ge when yes. I say gentlemanly pause, I mean that even though the timer is running, um, even though the timer is running, both teams basically wait and allow for that person to load in. Yeah. So right is, now we have that, the gentlemanly pause. No, I, got a, I got a question for you. Is mm -hmm. that an explicit or an implicit rule of SCS? It's a it's a kind of a handshake agreement between both teams. Uh, the, so the gentlemanly implicit. pause. So basically, so it's not written on any of the documents that state. It is all. not a recognized pause. Basically, the only official pause is the pause allowed by the referee. Uh, the gentlemanly pause is a handshake agreement between both teams. Uh, that basically is like you know what we'll we'll let you go in and we're not going to move. They don't have to. Mm -hmm. They're not forced to. They choose to do so because uh, they they wish to not defeat a team when they're not at full strength. Hmm. Um, so it's a sportsmanship. Uh, it's a sportsmanship thing. Yeah. Is is Kid Flash an an alternate? I have no idea, but I wouldn't I be mean, shocked if he is. Yeah. I mean, it, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's there's no concern. Levels don't it's matter. No what matters is yeah. how you play. I'm just out of curiosity. <laughs> Of course, I'm sitting here going. Now you're talking to me about. Uh, you're talking to me about. Uh, I thought you were. You were uh, coming in this week. I, I'm surprised. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I'm surprised they didn't go. Uh, try to throw me a joke whisper and go. I thought you were. I, I still thought you were uh, piloting this week. You want to come in? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's next yeah. week, folks. Would have been funny if I made chime in. <laughs> would have been Holy interesting, crap. but it would not have. It would not have made for an appropriate stream, though. Not for SCS. <laughs> would have made it for a great chaos stream, but not for SCS. So you know, we got to keep it, got to keep it, yeah. uh, got to keep it professional around here. At mm -hmm. least, at least relatively professional. As uh, as uh, Gizmo Duck is uh, is basically uh, raining down Hades. Uh, that a, uh, that is a very awkward angle for the Hades, though. Uh, not really able to get those shots in. Conflict party seems to have uh, cornered themselves perfectly against the building. Yeah, but they were doing just... that. Yeah, they were doing that so that they could uh, mm -hmm. escape the Hades arc, which Hades. was a smart, yeah. smart move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, of course, uh, one of the downfalls of uh, piloting on this map is that you have uh, lots of buildings, and if you try to go around the edge of the map, uh, sometimes the trade winds push you right back into the buildings, and they get you stuck. It actually happened. Uh, it actually happened uh, yesterday. Uh, on my live stream, so uh, for, for those of you wondering uh, how exactly buildings can come into play, uh, especially for the newer SCS teams, if you want a, a how-to on how not to use the trade winds, uh, you can check that out. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can check that out and how buildings can really come into play and really wreck a uh, pilot's day. Yeah. Uh, but that's just a, a quick PSA on how to, how to Periton. How to Periton. How to Periton. That yeah, that Periton. Is, that is to be like a 12 minute video. <laughs> but what do you do? What do you not do? And what can get you really mad? <laughs> it really, you can really sum it up in, in one statement. Yeah. Know get where the buildings, <laughs> no, know where your environment is at all times. Or get good. <laughs> well, get good applies to every map. Yeah, but especially sure. on Periton, okay, okay. especially on Periton though, Know where the environment is at all times mm -hmm. is the most important thing because if you don't know where the buildings are, it, you can very easily run into one. Like, say, this bridge yeah. right here. Take a look at this bridge. This bridge is a very common 
place where people die, especially when balloon pops happen, or if you're not really paying attention and backing up into things, that's a very yeah. common place for people to die. Um, uh, also, these to, these little sticking up, uh, jutting portions of the ruined buildings, that's a very common place for people to die as well, especially that goldfish tail right there. If you get it caught right in that, ooh, it gets ugly. Mm -hmm. um, just to uh, get back into the game here, mm -hmm. from our <laughs> tangent, um, there was a missed a watch opportunity by a friend fish yes. as Roro took cover and coin flip has also been successfully able to get out of Gizmo Duck's arcs for now. Mm -hmm. and, and he's and back under the Minotaur range. And yeah. it's a few shots in. Yeah, those are good shots right there too. Yeah. Uh, but Ooh, even, a even nice flare. Yeah, definitely a, oh, you would talk about the flares. <laughs> <laughs> I would talk but, about the flares too, except bad. for the part where we we uh, we want to make sure that uh, we're, we're rewarding the good flares and the mm -hmm. good shots. Uh, but yeah, it, again, uh, the reason I point out that stuff again is because we've got some new teams coming into SCS, and we want to yeah. make sure. Oh, Ruro has been uh, hole broken. Hold that thought. And balloon broken. Oh, he's gonna bounce and die right there. That should be a kill. Oh, barely saving it are the NGs. Barely, mm -hmm. barely saving it. That's five percent perma remaining. Oh, but I do. Flash seems to have disconnected as uh -oh. well, so the captain's disconnected. Uh oh, yeah, that's no good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I I point this out because uh, we do have a lot of uh, relatively, uh, let's newer say, players newer coming players in. coming into SCS this tournament. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do want to point out some of the things with Periton and point out some of the things with the map. Uh, it is useful to point those out so that they can learn as well. As uh, Gizmo yeah. Duck on the other side has been hole broken. Uh, looks like the Gat Artemis Pyramidian is definitely doing its job here, getting the disables and the hole break. I see. Uh... And uh, Ruro getting uh, disabled here. Two engines, one gun, yeah. but not the front gun. The front gun is not so disabled. A, uh, there's a good flare right there going out yeah. uh, on the Gizmo uh, Duck. Also right now, Celine is flying uh, the Ruro as Kid Flash is disconnected. Oh wow, that's very unfortunate. As the Friendfish moving on the coin flip party, it's now a 2v1 on the coin flip. Uh, Hannah's taking over the pilot, so they're basically rotating roles here. Yeah, um, it looks like the they Ruro. are. Yep, mm -hmm. looks like they're trying to put a game plan together. Yep. This is very, very unfortunate for, uh, uh, for uh, the red side. Yep. As they're trying to take out the main threat here, that is coin flip party. Yeah, and they can't get a pause. They can't even get a gentlemanly pause right now because it is an active engagement. Friendfish looking mm -hmm. to go for a ram kill right now. They're in a bad spot. They are between both ships. That is a double watcher going out, one from each side. That's going to be a kill. And that's, yep. First blood goes to blue. We should probably uh, lay low here and try to avoid some sort of spotting so a pause can be called. Oh, wait, they can't call a pause they, anymore because they can't. They already can't. have. They already have, exactly. Mm -hmm. that, that's not a valid pause. Uh, yep. Huskar cannot grant that pause. The only way they can get a pause is a gentlemanly pause at this point. Yeah. And uh, that's Flash not. Is also back. In, okay, that's good. So, that is good. Uh huh. Gizmo Duck slowly uh, uh, coming in for the and Kid engagement Flash here. And Kid Flash back on the wheel right now, so that's good. Mm -hmm. However, one small problem for the Ruro, Gizmo Duck, oh my goodness, he's going to go oh, ram kill. Oh no, that's a ram <laughs> kill from a Galleon. Oh. 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 Impaled on those spikes there. Mm. That hurt. <laughs> oh, that hurt watching it. 2-0 blue. All the first kill advantage goes to red. Yes. Oh, and coin flip party starting the meat grind. Yeah. Oh. I, I, oh, that's just, that's just cringeworthy. This I'm is sorry. very unfortunate. Oh, yeah. very unfortunate indeed. Uh, coin flip party losing three guns, no engines though. And, uh, ooh, a good ram right there uh, by the coin flip mm -hmm. party. Uh, basically doing the tiger, tiger uppercut, getting making sure that they're, they're not surrounded by both ships. That would have been disastrous. However, they are still caught but, uh, with two Huacha capable ships uh, facing them. The good news is they have the shield for their engines. That's they, a good yeah, thing, but they have, have no self defense. Engines. Yeah. Their balloon is down as well. They're about to have no hull either. Yeah. Artemis friend back up. Fish. And the friend fish make sure that that Artemis goes right back down as there's the hole break on the oh, point of the party. The pops coming in from uh, Roro on uh, friend fish, but the friend fish is ballooned down as well. That they are. And a good job by Roro trying his best to uh, mm -hmm. to change the terms of this engagement. Oh, an unfortunate bump right there by the Roro. That's going to yeah. take them out of arc as friendship try uh, friendfish oh. trying to move in 
That Minotaur actually kind of helped them, but their hull is down. Yeah, their hull is down. Oh, wait a minute. Hold that thought as the Ruro now has the perfect angle on the Friendfish. They've got him pinned yep. against the environment. They could pick up the kill here, especially oh, with that watch not facing him. Ruro hull yeah. broken, though. Oh, this could be bad for the Ruro. Oh, and they oh. lose the arc on the Ram kill. 3-0 yep. blue. Very unfortunate turn of events for them. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, the coin flip is now in a 2v1, and they're surrounded. The one thing they did not want to have happen, Gizmo Duck Hall broken, but they are unable to take advantage of it because of the Friendfish now on the flank of the uh, coin flip party. And that Carronade going out as well. It looks like they're trying to disable engines with that Carronade. A they smart plan. Yeah, yeah, they it, got two, but they got one back online, yeah. so they have one disabled still, and I'm assuming that's one of the turnings. And everything. <laughs> yeah, you can now declare everything gone, because now they have no guns, no engines, no balloon, and no hull, and they're about to have no ship. This yeah. is about to be a 4-0. Oh, they just got a balloon. They got a hull and a balloon. A yeah. And they're, but they're still about to have nothing, because this is a mm -hmm. 1v2 situation as Ruro has respawned. Uh, let's... Actually, let's check the map. Okay, they spawned far away, so that's a smart spawn by Ruro. 4-0 blue. Yeah. I was, I'm assuming Lou Harris was uh, expecting that he must have told uh, Kid Flash to spawn away. Yeah, he must have told him, basically, do not do not spawn mm -hmm. anywhere close to me. Yeah, do As, not uh -oh, to save this. This could... Oh, well, no, they won't get there before... Uh, they won't get there before the respawn. Friendfish no, cannot possibly get to him, yeah. Yeah, it's way too far. Yep. Even if they do uh, in or use Moonshine, they will still be... Uh, oh, yeah, that's going for the party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so at this point, um, unfortunate news as, uh, for Red as half the match has gone by. Red needs to pick up all five kills in succession in order to move on to the Grand Finals. Otherwise, they will mm -hmm. be eliminated from SCS number 121. Yep. And... Uh, Delphin's doing really good on the uh, Road to Redemption run over here after their first loss against uh, Skyborn. That they and are. Team Team Predator Island, there you go. I keep forgetting their names. That's okay, it's Predator <laughs> Island, yes. And Predator yeah. Island, no stranger to winning in SCS, as they've yeah. won multiple SCSs before. Uh, but we'll talk about them a little bit later. Let's focus on the action here as uh, watches go out. Not too terribly effective, though. Uh, only mm -hmm. picking up a couple of guns. They do pick up the front guns of the uh, coin flip party, though. So that's a positive. However, uh, not really picking up anything else. An excellent one shot that goes right between the buildings and Gizmo Duck, but don't think that did much. Yeah, but still, every little bit helps if you can draw mm -hmm. an engineer. One less engineer shooting is one more gun that you can shoot. In you, yeah, yeah. And Karenade's going out as, uh, oh, good watcher right there uh, by the yeah. Gizmo Duck. The coin Roro's flip party has been bloom broken, though. Yeah. Some Giz delaying engagement here from Roro. Oh, Roro, yeah, Roro board. coming in. Oh, a good engagement, though, uh, but they yeah. lost the Ram arc. Uh, they lost the Ram arc and the watcher coming out from the Friendfish. A good watch, yeah. a hull break on the Roro. They're being focused by both fishes here. Yeah, good initial both, uh, ships here. Sorry. Good initial thought by the Ruro just could not keep that. Uh, keep, could not keep the Gizmo Duck pinned. Yeah, yeah. Friendfish turning on the Ruro. This is going to get very ugly in a hurry for the Ruro if they're not careful. Mm hmm They were trying to use the balloon to block part of that watcha, but they just couldn't get it into position in time. A good hydro, though. Very good hydro yeah. by the Ruro. The fact that their hull is done, that is a very good uh, yes. tactic. Yes, coin there. flip, however, hull broken and balloon broken, that could be GG. Kind of There's the ram, yeah, he's done. Yeah. He ain't getting out of that. Most of the hull watcher went to their balloon. So yeah, it still doesn't balloon. matter, though. Their balloon and hull broken and down. Yeah. As Elegant Elephants wins 5-0 over coin, uh, Flares X coin flips 20... Uh, 2k16 as they have been eliminated from scs number 121 and now that sets up our grand finals matchup between predator island and elegant elephants mm -hmm. And we will bring that match for you very shortly here.
Our grand finals matchup once again. For those of you just tuning in here on twitch.tv slash that lasagna guy, our grand finals matchup will be between Predator Island and Elegant Elephants. Uh, just to recap, for those of you just tuning in, uh, let's do a quick recap of what has happened thus far in the tournament. Of course, if you want that uh, recap, we'll also post a link to the bracket here in just a couple minutes. Uh, in our first round matchup, Predator Island with a 5-1 win over Elegant Elephants. This is a rematch of the round one matchup that they had. Uh, mm -hmm. In round number two, Predator Island with a 5-1 win over East Sheldon Trading Company and Flair's X Coin Flips 2K16 with a 5-0 win over Sassy Freyords. And Predator Island with a 5-1 win in the winner's final matchup over Flair's X Coin Flips 2K16 to send them to the grand finals. Meanwhile, in the other second round matchup, uh, Flair's X Coin Flips with a 5-0 win over Sassy Freyords that put them into the grand finals, uh, excuse me, into the winner's final matchup that they lost. And we'll get to the rest of it in just a second as the next lobby is going up. Uh, and uh, in the Road to Redemption, the Elegant Elephants with a 5-2 win over Sassy Freyords. Actually, they did not get double 5 would I stand corrected. Uh, looks like uh, that got updated here. In fact, let me double check. Was that correct? Uh, do -do -do. Okay, so I was incorrect here. Uh, yeah, uh, Elegant Elephants, it looks like... Uh, no, actually it was a 5 so that's incorrect here. Uh, Elegant Elephants um, won 5-0 over Sassy Freyords. Uh, their 5-2 was against East Sheldon Trading Company, so hopefully they get that uh, corrected on the bracket here very quickly. And uh, then from there, it is a 5-0 win in our most recent matchup uh, in the Road Redemption Finals against Flares X Coin Flips 2K16, setting up this Grand Finals matchup between Predator Island and Elegant Elephants. So if, and Lunarid uh, is basically saying, "Pick up the phone because I called it." Uh, just that—that's you're trying too hard with the puns. <laughs> what did you say about the brackets being wrong? Uh, the first round, ma uh, the first round road redemption uh, should be uh, five out. Now it's corrected. Yeah, uh, it was showing five two elegant elephants versus sassy freyords. Uh, now it's showing five out. So yeah, it looks like uh, somebody picked up on that. So, um, let's let's talk about this last bracket here real quick. Psst. Go ahead, wrong chat. <laughs> <laughs> Random whisper appears. Random whisper appears. Oh wait, wrong person to whisper. Psst. Oops, <laughs> my bad. Psst. Oops, for whisper the wrong person. Psst. Ignore this whisper. <laughs> it's okay, folks. <laughs> so let's talk about this last bracket here real quick. So if elegant elephants win this one, that is going to lead to another match, correct? That is correct. If Elegant Elephants wins, they will force a second Grand Finals matchup in which they will be on red and Predator Island will be on blue. However, if Predator yep. Island Predator wins this matchup, if mm -hmm. Predator Island wins this matchup, then they will win SCS number 121. So definitely this is going to be a very interesting matchup. We are fighting with Fernfeld as our match, uh, that as is. our map. And uh, that's also good for, I don't know, you can do a plethora of things on there. Mostly mid-range is what you usually see. Pretty much. Uh, but real quick, um, I, I mentioned I would get back to, uh, um, I mentioned I would get back to um, uh, patch notes and whatnot, especially in regards to uh, uh, that last map we were on. Uh -huh. Why am I drawing such a blank right now? Oh, goodness. I, I swear I can read and think in English right now. Uh, I swear I can. I do. <laughs> Psst, shush. Uh, <laughs> uh, Periton Rumble, there we go. Um, but yeah, um, for those of you who are wondering, Patch Day came Monday, and lots of exciting things came into uh, Guns of Icarus. First off, there were uh, many, many changes. VIP got changed. Uh, there's a huge uh, update to the rules on that. You can check those out on the patch notes, and I'll link you guys to the patch notes here shortly. Uh, also, uh, Skyball was introduced for the very first time to the general public. Yep. Um, it has received many, many reviews to this point. You can check those out on the forum. I will leave it at that. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, Periton Rumble got 4v4. Yeah. <laughs> and we got to, and we got to prominently display that during, uh, uh, yeah, during I'm my last live stream. The first thing you guys did, yeah. I'm assuming that's exactly what you guys did for Chaos. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. nothing's more chaotic than having eight ships duking it out between buildings and skewering themselves at whatever 
the map pretty much offer. pretty much yeah no thanks <laughs> <laughs> uh, <pass. laughs> uh but yeah there were also a lot of other changes let's see what else was there um i know i'm missing a couple of big ones uh um, do, 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 do. oh the, there were uh, updates to ui Updates the UI, uh, so you probably saw like uh, the Hades had different graphics, the Flamethrower have di has a bit of different graphics and whatnot. Uh, the twelve bars, the twelve bars of math are now gone, replaced by the ten bars of uh, of understanding. Thank you. Yes, the ten bars are back. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. What else? What else? Um, so lot changes. Five yes. Five divided by twelve is equal to this much. I have this much. Five percentage. divided by twelve equals equals. I can't math. Let me just I shoot them so my right bars now. don't go down. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty much how it went in most pubs. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh, there's Knox. Knox, welcome to Lasagna's Lounge. The lobby timer started, and we have the Victor and Sin Machine, as we saw from the first game, on uh, Predator Island. Oh, the Sin Machine is back. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thank you, Huskar. Thank you, Huskar, for dividing by 20. Except yeah, we, need, you... uh, we need... Oh, he's telling us how much time is left. 2.4 minutes. Oh, never mind. No, that's not how much time is left now. Uh... I was going to say, if you were just going to go... Wait, 5 divided by 20. If 5 divided by 20 is not 2.4. What, what, what the heck? I math's wrong. Your math is so <laughs> wrong. Mathing. You're mathing wrong now, Huskar. We all need to go back to. I no longer math. trust you. <laughs> I didn't math wrong. I just typoed. You, you, twelve divided by five is two point four. Except here's here's your one problem. You're supposed to divide by twelve, not divide twelve into something. All right. So you're still Professor mathing Lasagna, wrong. Stop. I, you are no longer my favorite, Huskar. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I still love you. Grandfather him. sends a note again. Yes, apparently he does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He he could it could be his grandfather too. You never know. He didn't clarify. <laughs> he did actually, but it's okay. <laughs> I know he didn't clarify till after I said it. <laughs> actually, he did, but oh yeah, well yes. It, after I said it, way. yeah, 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 yeah. But yes, I still can't read, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. As we are about to start this final, uh, well, not, not necessarily final matchup, but this is the grand finals of SCS number 121. Uh, this will be on Fight Over Fernfield, and it will feature Predator Island on red and Elegant Elephants on blue. Fight Over Fernfield, mm -hmm. of course, is a very, a very, very icy map, as you can see in the picture right here. There's lots of ice on the water right there. Lots of mm -hmm. ice, very icy map, and of course you have that, uh, you have the Drive It Down Mid Underpass, and, uh, the, the lanes on the side that you can use. I'll take red, you take blue. Ship number one is the Victor, piloted by Sundstrom. It is a Gap Mortar Meta Midian with a Banshee and a Flare on the sides. Ship Ship number two is the Sin Machine, piloted by Mighty Keb. It is a Mobula with Double Gatling on the bottom, Mortar on the top, and Banshee and Flare on the wings. Take it away. Ship number three is Fancy, piloted by Dementia. It's a Hades on top with Artemis on either sides with a Gatling on the... I can't see. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Gatling on the left, well, the right side, and a flame... Well, That's a yeah, flamethrower flame on the bottom, right. yeah. Yeah, flamethrower on the bottom, right. And ship number four is uh, Team Rocket. It's a Junker piloted by Sputnik. Um, it has two Mine Launchers, two Banshees, and a Gatling. Uh, mine Launchers Ooh. being on the bottom deck, Banshees Ooh. on the top sides, and Gal on the front. Very intriguing choice for the uh, for the Grand Finals going with that uh, uh, hybrid Munker. Yep. The Gatling it on is front, though. After all. That Gatling on the front, though. I, I don't, I don't yeah, know. I prefer seeing a Banshee up in front as well, or a other mine launcher, but that's just me, I Especially guess. Especially against the Sin Machine. I would, I might have considered going with uh, something to pop balloons over there, Banshee probably being the preferred option. Mm, I would actually not even bother popping balloons, I'd just straight go for the kill, fully aggressive. Well, if you pop the balloon, though, it makes it easier to uh, drop mines on them, because you know they're only going down... Oh, they can't go up. Banshees, then you can just put unnecessarily added fires, fire stacks. That too. You can put down yeah, the fire stacks. That's what was. This level of competitive banshee is not going to start that many fires. To True. Be honest. Yeah, it, 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 but True. at least it it forces them to put the chem spray on. It's not necessarily for the fire; it's for the threat of fire. 
Yeah. It's kind of it's, like, it's, uh, it's why I've also advocated um, that people are uh, bring a flare gun into the mix because it's not about the it's not about the uh, the the actual fires themselves. It's about the threat of the fire and actually having to pay attention to your chem sprays. Yeah. If you if you also, take a chem. If, I want to quick point friend. out here. Uh, Predator Island is taking a very unique, not very unique, a very good approach here um, by drawing the attention f to the sin machine while the victor can actually engage i'm assuming that's what they're trying to do here I, I would agree i think that is what they're doing in fact the victor is making their move right now on the fancy uh they are yeah. making their they are basically booking it in there with moonshine yeah but uh, team rocket instantly turned toward their attention towards uh, victor that they did yeah However, they do get a favorable one v one, getting in close. Oh, they just lost their favorable oh, approach. Yep, that is a Sin lot Machine of DACA. Yeah, Sin Machine moving in very quickly. The, oh, oh, good mine good right there. Mine good mine by Team Rocket. Looks like the Sin Machine moving in on Team Rocket. Yes, they are. And they're going for fancy. They aren't even backing up uh, on Team Rocket. I no, guess they are not. I, I would agree. I agree with this call though, because Team yeah, Rocket does I, have the Mobulas. Except they're too far out to do anything about it. So fancy keeping yep. good distance from the sin machine. Uh, I think the sin machine made the right call. It was just good piloting by the fancy preventing the yep. sin machine from doing Team anything. Rocket, Team Rocket just had a quick hydro with their banshees are out, and I'm assuming mines will be shortly as well. They should be. It is 1-0 in favor of blue. Blue picking up first kill. However, the fancy has been hole broken. Sin machine yeah. might get, be getting some work in here. However, the banshees are coming out. Sin machine hurting. Yep. Oh, they're trying to get between mines. They've successfully gone between the mines. They're looking to go for a YOLO rush on the fancy. This may not be uh, this may not be something they're going to be able to pull off, though. They're firing all their guns. They've decided at this point it, they have to. Yeah. And they go down 2-0 in favor of uh, Elegant Elephants, who have definitely learned something from their first engagement. Yep. Victor backing off uh, further into their side here. Fancy's taking half Burma. If nothing else, they have definitely improved on their first matchup, uh, where yep. they were defeated 5-1 by Predator Island. Definitely mm -hmm. uh, picking up some tips on how to deal with them, and it looks like the how to deal with them, at least their approach right now, is to try to use one of their aggressiveness against against themselves. Uh, try to Try to draw one of them in on the flank, and I think actually, in fairness to... In fairness to uh, Predator Island, I think Sin Machine was a little bit late getting into that engagement. I agree. Yeah. Late, if not, they were unable to focus quick. Uh, they were not able to focus quickly on on an on an target. Yeah. If they were, if their if their whole game plan was to focus the fancy, I think yeah. their 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 approach was their uh, engagement was too late. I'm thinking uh, either out. ways. I was thinking either ways the victor was going to go down. The question is how many can they take as they go down? Yeah, and and if they if the sin machine was able to pick up a kill, mm -hmm. it would have been a very very interesting one v one in blue spawn for a bit between uh, them and Team Rocket, especially with mines in play. That would have been a very yep. interesting engagement. I wouldn't mind actually seeing that if that were to happen uh, <laughs> later in this match. That would be a very intriguing uh, si sidebar to have happen. Absolutely. If for no other reason than uh, content and entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> As Team Rocket has decided to move up, and uh, the Fancy has decided to uh, hang back and uh, and put some shots in on the Sin Machine, and those Hades are raining true. Of course, as I say those Hades are raining true, then they start missing the Hades. So you got to keep our percentages up. Yep. Got to keep them up. Keep them conservative, man. <laughs> A pause has been requested, but not granted at this point, because engagement is going on. Uh, Goro Sagoras has seemingly disconnected here. Oh, that and... he has. But there is active spots, so the... the uh, Unless they have the gentlemanly pause, they can't grant it just yet. Yeah. Okay, yes, so they are so allowing it. Okay, so yeah. So so the other team is going for gentlemanly pause, and now it should be an official pause any second. There is one spot out. Now it's unspotted, so now the official pause should be granted. Yeah. Now there it is. So there is the official pause. They have two minutes. Sin Machine is effectively taking themselves out. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Gurus uh, did disconnect here. Uh, so hopefully he's able to come back in shortly. Mm -hmm. And in fact, yeah, he's coming back in right now. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so let's take a quick peek. Let's make sure everybody's in good shape here. There you go. There's your loadouts once again. Yeah, it looks like I've got that minor drift, but you just you can't avoid the drift during a pause. It's just unavoidable. Uh, you yeah. just have to uh, kind of nudge it right back in the right direction is all. I believe what the referee looks out for is just making sure you're actively following to your best ability the yeah. pause called. Exactly, and 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 drift is as long okay. As you do that, as long yeah. as you're in that move. As and there's a little bit of movement allowed, but as long as you're in that, you're good. Yeah, and what the fancy is doing right now, um, he's just firing those uh, Hades up there. It's it's harmless stuff. It's just you know fireworks and whatnot. No big deal. They are. Yeah, they were firing up. Now they're firing it at their own ally <laughs> because they're bored, I guess typical. Of course, uh, if they miss their ally and accidentally hit uh, one of the enemies, that's not kosher. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely not kosher. And this is also kind of pushing it. But so yeah, uh, Gorsor is, is uh, jumping back in. So let's take a quick peek over there. There you go. Interesting, though. Um, let's see. Okay, so they've got... Uh, looks like they've got the uh, buff kit... If I'm looking at this correctly, they've got a buff kit on the uh, on the balloon side. Yes, they do. They have a buff kit on the balloon side. Okay. Of course, they've got three engineers on there, and why wouldn't they with with uh, with the way that they run their uh, mobula? As the victor appears to be moving to the side now, let's actually take a look at the map. They're actually heading back to. Oh, wait a minute. Blue is pushing up. Blue has decided they're not going to wait around. They are going to press and uh, try to uh, press the flank of red here. Mm -hmm. And Looks blue like also has first skill advantage, if I'm not wrong. That is correct. I, I mean, the score of 2-0 would indicate that they do have first first blood. Yeah. As uh, they they are definitely feeling it right now. Uh, blue side, that's elegant elephants. Uh, they're they are definitely feeling uh, feeling frisky. They're feeling a little froggy. They might they might feel like jumping. Of yeah. course, uh, against uh, team uh, against uh, Predator Island, uh, be careful jumping. Yeah. They had a good they had a good engagement on the first one though. Uh, fancy only losing fifty percent perma. Other than that, it's about as good as you can expect uh, in a yeah. grand finals engagement. Mm hmm. Especially on an opening engagement. Yep. So we see the red team here, Predator Island, uh, circling around the map. While we try and get a jump on them again. Uh, it seems like Team Rocket has gotten a slight uh, sight on either Victor or Sin Machine here. Given the fact that they just turned around so quickly. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Uh, it's, it's, I don't think they do because the Fancy's not really turning either. So I'm thinking they don't. Mm. I'm thinking they don't just yet. Tin uh, uh, having some having some altitude here, so he might be visible very soon. No, there should be cloud cover and hard cover oh, hard in play cover, here. Right. Yeah, hard cover well, in play, cloud cover in play. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, and it's it's good to learn these things as well uh, when you're piloting. Uh, and yeah. bugs, I know you know, and you know the angles and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, sometimes these are things to to learn when you're trying to come up in SCS. Um, know how to use cloud cover. You can learn how to use hard cover. Learn how to use it when you're making uh, your preparations for engagement. Not just when you're in active engagement, but how to use it to your advantage when you're trying yeah. to set to up an engagement. Map. Yeah. That's because very important. Positioning in this game is very crucial. Positioning and timing. Especially in a 2v2. It's the yeah. fewer ships that you have, the more critical your positioning. Mm-hmm. As it looks That's like four v four is so much fun. Yeah, I mean it's just straight kill it fest on four v four. Straight for it, and the other three will be like, "Oh well, he's in there. Might as well go in too." <laughs> Pretty much, it's that it's that uh, limbing effect. But uh, yeah. in two v twos, no, 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 you you can't do that. I mean, you can if everybody does it, but it's mm -hmm. not very effective. You're much more effective. Uh, uh oh, wait a minute. Hold that yeah. thought, as uh, we could have a spot here on the victor. In fact, we do have a spot on the victor. Uh, Team Sin Rocket and Fancy have found him. Sin oh no, actually, this is not necessarily a bad thing. I like this right now by the victor. Back it up. That's right. That's exactly what he should do here. Victor backing up. Sin Machine is completely unspotted. I like this because what Victor could do is time that engagement right, 
If he can do that and distract the enemy, Sin Machine could get a good flank on the fa on the fancy. I like this. This is good. I mean, it's risky, but it's definitely good. Well, it's risky. We saw how that worked the first time. It was just that last time uh, uh, Sin Machine was late getting in there. If they time mm -hmm. it properly, Fancy should melt in a hurry. Also, to, just to let everyone else know, there's 10 minutes left on the clock. That there is. They have to oh, that. Sin Machine's flank got busted. Yep. Got spotted too early. That may not be the... Uh, I mean, they it got close the enough. Thing, but it'll just make their idea inconvenient or their plan yeah. It's just an inconvenience, I guess. It's a significant inconvenience, but an yeah. inconvenience nonetheless. They, w In other words, they will take a decent amount of damage trying to pull this off now, because they've been spotted. And that they push looks like it's going to happen as they're moving in on the team. Yes, it is going to happen right now. Sin Machine moving up. Victor is going to distract as Sin Machine moves on the fancy. Team Rocket, If they, if they, uh, let's see what they do here. Are they going to back up here for the uh, Sin Machine? Yes, they are. They are going to back up for the Sin Machine. Sin Machine making a beeline for the fancy. Fancy turning on the Sin Machine. Team Rocket trying to get those mines in arc yeah victor needs to do something right now and they need to move in as fast as it possible no 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 that was a that's a good no? juke right there they they can move up but they don't they aren't uh, they they don't need to necessarily move in too hastily they well, need to make the right approach Oh, good mine right there by the Team Rocket. That's why I was saying they need to make a good approach. Team Rocket does have the mines. If they go for the Team Rocket, that could happen. Sin Machine... Oh, my goodness! Yeah. Oh, and that's why I was saying they need to make a good approach, because if they go for the wrong one, they're going to be removed from the engagement. I my thought was agree. not finished, and they went for the Team the Rocket. Fact, I fully agree in the fact that they need to make a good approach, but they, needed, they lost their window of opportunity there. They needed to do that, then otherwise they would have been, well, in this position right now. Yeah, and they are in this position because, again late and bad engagement yep four oh blue uh, again to finish my thought of what i was saying earlier um i wasn't saying that they shouldn't make that uh, engagement with haste uh, what my point was that that they needed to watch the minds of the team rocket if they're going to make their engagement and they yep. really should and they really should take advantage of uh of uh of Keb pushing up and making that aggressive push. Yeah, the problem I, I, was, I, I, the problem was point. they went for the Team Rocket right there. And those mines really coming into play, a great job by Team Rocket's gunner, uh, uh, Miki, uh, Miki, we'll just call him Miki. Um, he's doing a great job right now on that mine launcher, absolutely delaying or shutting down the split push as the Fancy has been spotted. Uh, looks like we're going to have a quick push, and this could be bad for the Fancy. Team Rocket not in a great position to assist. They are in, in Lesmok range. However, oh, that's a good mine right there. Uh, delaying the Sin Machine. Victor, however, is going to get a clean approach yeah. on the Fancy. Sin Machine, however, hole broken. I still feel that Team Rocket must be their first priority over Fancy. Um, because they seem to be the biggest threat here. Fancy can be just a late. late oh, a beautiful off, mind but... to finish it up. Yep. Oh my goodness, a clean 5-0 win. Mm -hmm. I would dare say minor upset. <laughs> Not a major <laughs> upset, but a minor <laughs> upset. Considering that Skyborne is a three-time defending champ, mm -hmm. a this minor is, upset right there. Is, as I said in the beginning of this game, if you give minds to the to SCS or clan clan they will show you a good time they're very good at it and a good time was had by all except yes. for except for predator island well they did learn a lot from this i'm sure and i'm sure they have especially i i have a feeling i have a funny feeling that uh, Predator Island is going to say, you know what? You want to play that way? Okay. Mobula Squid. Or <laughs> Mobula Pira. And, yeah. they'll, and, they'll, and Keb will probably be playing the uh, not Mobula. Yeah. That would be my expectation. Okay, so we have to reform. Hmm? Oh, I think, I, think, uh, I think we're about to see the... Uh, oh, you want to see aggressive now, Keb ship. Yeah, I wouldn't jump to that conclusion, but I'm definitely am going. I I'm definitely betting on a better show. Uh, especially considering the final match of SCS number one twenty one is going to be on Canyon Ambush. Oh yeah, Keb's going pure air squid. Uh, there, there's no way he's not. <laughs> he's going pure air squid unless he breaks out the the uh, the I'm uh, sure uh, modula again. To you right now, just like how Zedian did last time, it's like 
No, I'm not Lasagna. I'm not. I'm Except he's you. not in here. He's not in here, so it's okay. <laughs> Unless I mean, he's... Know? I mean, he, I'm looking at the viewer list right now. I am looking at it too, but you don't know. <laughs> I, I, I know. I know. It's, it's okay. Huh? Unless he's <laughs> unless he's logged out, that's a possibility. But um, I, it, it is a personal request, and also kind of a uh, a request of the uh, SES organizers. Please, 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 if you're in the match, don't snipe the streams. It's it's not kosher. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean, or even then, it's better to not even it's better to not even let that come into play. Um, do I have that off the idea? Just don't give don't give people reason to to question. Just be like, you know what? We'll just we'll just check out the replay later. It's just one of those personal requests from the organizer from the from an organizational standpoint. Don't give people any ideas about you know, hey, are are you or are you not straight up? And yep. and both both of these teams are definitely honorable, um, as are uh, all the teams in STS. We want to put on a good show, but we want to do so in a in a uh, how shall I put this? Um, we want to put on a good showing, but we also want to make sure that uh, you know there's good sportsmanship all around. Agreed. No, no, uh, no, no BM, no, no nonsense. Mm -hmm. Tasteful, tasteful poking the bear is uh, is okay, tasteful but uh, tasteful, tasteful poking the bear with honey, yes. Mm. That that I've I've heard uh, bears find that quite tasty. Ah, of course, of course. Uh, by the way, the lobby is up whenever you're ready. Yeah, on my way. Okay, so I need to actually edit the teams here as now we flip sides since we have a second Grand Finals matchup. Do the sides flip like coins? <laughs> I am staring daggers into your soul right now. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> you are no longer my favorite. <laughs> Suddenly, a PM message with uh, Huskar's grandfather sending something in. <laughs> but coin flips. I am staring daggers into both of your souls right now. <laughs> Don't have one. Sorry, mate. <laughs> but I'm staring daggers into your very core essence. <laughs> Don't have one either. Sorry, mate. I baka slap you. It's super effective. <laughs> it's not, it's not super effective, believe me. <laughs> and uh, welcome to uh, Creeper One Zero One Six Two. Thank you so much for tuning into Lasagna's Lounge here at the Grand Finals of SCS Number One Twenty One. We are uh, in the lobby of the second and final match of the Grand Finals. For those of you just tuning in, um, Elegant Elephants was able to defeat uh, Predator Island in the first matchup. Basically completing fully their road to redemption. Not only did they come back to the Grand Finals from the very first matchup, uh, they defeated the team that actually put them into the road to redemption to begin with, Predator Island. That sets up this final matchup. Winner take all. Whoever wins, wins SCS number 121. And apparently I've been asked to poke the moose with syrup. Apparently that is tasty too, and I would I would not doubt that, that's, that, that, uh, that would work. Except for one small problem. Knox is not Canadian. So how would he know? Then again, I'm not Canadian, so I don't know either. Poke the deer with a car. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that got dark in a hurry. <laughs> well, on the bright side, I don't need to have the... Uh, I don't need to have the uh, bracket up anymore. Oh, and uh, Huskar announcing that we have uh, good news, that uh, we still have uh, one minute and 20 seconds left of Lobbies of Icarus. No, just one minute now. Uh, the meta game's getting over quick. Everybody knows that real SCS is played in the lobbies. No, just kidding. <laughs> of course it's well, it is. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, that's that's kind of a running joke between veteran teams. Don't don't mind me. For those of you for those of you who are new to Guns of Icarus, ignore everything I said. You you pew pew. Nope. Just pew pew don't and win. It. 
Nope. See what? No, 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 no. See, see what you need to understand. <laughs> what you need to understand is that there, when it when it comes to pew pew and win, okay, when you're mm-hmm. first starting out the game, mm-hmm. pew pew and win is all about guns and and ships and uh, ramming things and whatnot. That's pew pew and win. Then you reach the next level, which is basically lobbies of Icarus, which is basically using your words to pew pew and win. And then you reach you the like meta phase. And then you reach the meta phase in which you just show up and ships explode. And then you and then you lobbies of Icarus. Alright. I think Muse is gonna have a very long talk about how you show up and ships will explode. <laughs> no, that's 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 uh oh wait, we have a pause called uh, as we load into the match. We'll talk about that later. I don't do that just yet. I haven't reached that meta level yet. Uh, that's why I'm <laughs> casting and not actually in SCS right now. I'll take red, you take blue. Ship number one is the Friendfish, piloted by Dimensio. It is a Huacha fish with double caro sides. Ship number two is the Team Rocket, piloted by Spudnik. It's a Gatling up front. It is that same ship from earlier, the one that basically did a number on... Uh, Predator Island, double mine bottom, double banshee top. It is mirrored. Take it away. Ship number three is the Victor. It's a Pyramidian piloted by Sungstrom. It is a Metamidian with a Gatling motor up on top and a flare and banshee on the, on the left side. And ship number four is the Sin Machine piloted by Mighty Keb. It is a Mobula with a motor up on top, um, two Gatlings on the sides, um, a banshee and a flare gun on the wings. Thin Machine's back. I I must say, consider me somewhat shocked. Sin Machine is uh, Sin Machine is back. I I'm I'm a little surprised. I thought we would maybe see a squid here. Um, but no, no squid. I especially think for the yeah, go ahead. Uh, especially with the mines in play, they're doing the exact same thing. Of course, um, I I I am one to talk when I say this, but uh. I, I'm very surprised that they're looking for the exact same loadout, the exact yeah. same ships against the same team and the same ships that 5 owed them. I'm a little bit surprised. I'm not saying that it can't work. I'm saying I'm a little bit surprised that no changes were made, as it uh, looks like all ships are spotted, and here we go with the grand finals of SCS number 121. This is the final match of the tournament. As the Friendfish friend has fish. absolutely been ripped to shreds here. 1-0 in That's favor of Predator insane. Island. Just the om- near insta. Oh my oh, goodness! That, that shoot drop. fint. That shoot fint dropping yeah. the dropping the and base on Team Rocket. <laughs> oh my God! That that's really that's a there by Mickey there. Uh, that 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 uh that uh that drop was uh, deeper than a dubstep drop right there. As uh, Team Rocket yeah, that, just 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 noping solid. out of there. Yeah, Victor. Victor trying to put mines out to protect themselves. Not so so effective right now. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Here comes uh, Sin Machine. Sin, Sin Machine moving in. Friendfish too far Falls out. That down. should be a kill. That is a kill. 2 0 blue. Mm-hmm. I guess they might be making up tier by taking the same loadouts. Uh, either know. either that, or I think uh, they've decided, you know what? It's time to put the tryhard pants on. On your head? On your on head, head and turn on sideways. Turn sideways like a G. There you go. There you go. That's how they do. That's how everybody does. These days, that's how the kids do it. These days. Mm-hmm. See, try hard pants on head is not enough. You got to turn them sideways, like a. Uh, I, I would say the rest of that quote, except, uh, except uh, this is SCS, and we got to keep it a little bit professional here, just a little bit. Mm-hmm. Also, it is also true that uh, Urs here has uh, pointed out that it's a different map, so that does change a lot of things. But it certainly does. Um, but again, I'm. I, I was a little surprised going into this, just. Because Team Rocket nope. lit up uh, Predator Island, and they see the Team Rocket come in, and I'm surprised they didn't consider at least something a little more... The machine's red. Anti-mines, so to speak. That's yeah. the only part that I was uh, looking at. As Sin Machine's been whole broke... Uh, excuse me. Sin Machine is on low health, low balloon, uh, low armor, whole broke... Hole broken and Team Rocket picks up the kill in the 1v1, 2-1. Yeah. A uh, little bit off camera because of cloud cover. Victor in a very bad spot. That is in red spawn. Yep. That's a very, very bad place to be when you're 2v1. And Team Rocket looking to move up. Those mines coming out. A good mine right there. Picking up oh. the hole break. That That is an expertly placed mine as the Victor 
in bad shape right now. It should be 2-2 any second. There it is, 2-2 all tied up. First kill advantage still goes to blue, though, so even that if is the timer correct. runs out. I... This is on blue's toe. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. That's what he said, and I have, a, I have a feeling we're not going to have to worry about it between these two teams. So Especially on Canyon. On Sorry, go ahead, Ascar. I, I caught the pun, I chose to ignore it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I caught it. I chose to ignore it because I know you're, where you're going with it, and you're not going to get it. And we really need to we really need to get away from the coin flip thing because uh, it's kind of taking away from the it, match it a bit. It wasn't about the coin flip. See, you said two two, and I was thinking you were going there. No, two two, princess two two. That's what I was saying. Princess two two gives me shit about coin flips. Anyway, we need to get off that for now. <laughs> well then. There won't be one, so we don't need to worry about it. Anyway, as uh, both teams shocking for position on and the map once again. That. No. Anyway, as both teams <laughs> are jockeying for position once again, uh, Sin Machine and Victor moving together, and the Friendfish taking the lead uh, for their side. Looks like both teams are doing the uh, circle dance, swing your partner round and round. Except nobody's really. Uh, oh. Nobody's really. I think uh, uh, Sin Machine's got a side on Friendfish. And oh, Vice that they do. Here. That they do, and uh, also that's face. usually how that's usually how the uh, the uh, oh. circle dance ends up. It ends up with a uh, a uh, sin a, a sinful exchange as the uh, Victor yeah. and the uh, Team Rocket engaging with uh, Banshees. It looks like Sin Machine moving up. There was a quick, there was a quick drug and then a quick hydro here. Yeah, I I, I, Team Rocket. I think that's a little early from the Sin Machine though. That's a little early as the Victor was not quite there yet. Sin Machine's going to eat it. Oh. A perfect combo. That was a little early by Keb. 3 2 in favor of yep. Red. And this is why I said I'm a little surprised to see uh, to see them not learn their lesson against Team Rocket as those mines have been yep. absolutely shredding them. Uh, mm -hmm. Team Rocket's gunner. Could you dare say that Team Rocket's uh, gunner has, it has basically been the player of the tournament so far? Yeah, I mean, unofficially, a really good job on the mine. unofficially, of course, but my goodness, that that is just expert mining yeah. right there by the Team Rocket. However, they are in blue spawn right now, so this could get ugly for Victor, 4-2 red. One yep. more kill for red, those being uh, elegant elephants, and they win SCS number 121. I have to say, considering it's Canyon... I'm a little surprised to see a team, uh, a Predator Island team, down on Canyon. I'm not not to take anything away mm. from Elegant Elephants, but close range maps are Keb's specialty. Maps like Periton Rumble, maps like Canyon Ambush. I'm surprised to see them down. I'm not saying that again. I'm not saying that uh, Elegant Elephants is not worthy. They have a ridership in play, and there are a lot of veterans on Elegant Elephant. I'm just I'm just saying. Close range maps, Keb, it just it, it it just fits perfectly for him, and he's getting outplayed right now by the uh, by the uh, team Rocket. Hey, and if you and if you, I mean that's that's the game, I guess, and and it's a really good amount of teamwork and coordination shown here by the elegant elephants. And Urzi is basically it's just outclassing and outperforming. Yeah, and Urzi is uh, basically saying uh, in chat just to follow up on what we're both saying here. Um, mm -hmm. He's basically saying uh, Mob and Pira are slow turners, uh, which basically uh, Team Rocket is taking full advantage of, and which I agree. Once again, I'm surprised that they did not learn their lesson from the first matchup and say, you know what, Team Rocket is 